Hey guys, Kelvin here, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the differences between classes and strats. Um, the reason why I want to talk about this is because this is probably one of the most popular interview iOS questions. Um, definitely one that, you know, it's like a 90% chance that you'll be asked for any iOS interview. So, um, yeah, let's jump into it. So, what are the differences between classes and struts? So let's, let's discuss what does classes and struts do. So they kind of act like a container that um, allow you to create objects and you know they are like the blueprint where you get to define the properties. So let's, uh, let's talk about the first uh, difference which is, uh, I have my notes here, and the first difference is that initialization. In the initial, how do you spell it? Initialization. Oh. All right, so struts give you a free init while you need to define one for class. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So let's let's build a class first, all right? <coughs> Sorry. So let's keep this class really simple, and I'm gonna call it post C, and C stands for class. And in this class, we have a title, which is of type string. We have a description as well, which is of type string. And the reason why I'm using a var is because. Uh, I'm intending to change that later to illustrate some of the principles here. And um, yep, and let's do a strut. Let's call it post s. I know it's kind of it's kind of weird to see a model name like that, but uh, if I'm to do something like that, you know, it's going to complain because I can't have that within the same project. All right, so that's why I need to have a C here and an S here. We just differentiate uh, the class and strut. All right, so immediately the first thing that you see is that Xcode complains that post C has no initializer. So what that means is if let's say I do a post S1, which is a strut, all right, post S, this is a strut, as you can see it's S, when I open the brackets or when I type in it, it automatically has the initializer where I can just type in something here like uh, strut1 and let's call it strut title1 and let's call it strut description1 all right and if I want to do let post c1 which is the class post c you realize that hey I don't have the autocomplete and I, when I open the brackets, uh, nothing, is, nothing is helpful over here. Alright, so I have to create an initializer. So the way I'm going to do it is to type in the init, title, and description, and self.title equals the title, self.description equals the description. This is the convention. All right, so now that I've created the initializer, I can do the init as well. Same thing, class title, oops, title one, and class description, oops, can't spell. <laughs> All right, so first thing is initialization. So struts provides us with a free initialization. Yeah, but this is not a, there's not one good reason why you should choose a, is strut over a class, all right? So let's talk about the second difference, which is uh, very important. All right, this is inheritance. So, um, so classes support inheritance, inheritance, while struts don't. All right, so why do we need inheritance? Um, we do need inheritance if we want to create like a a sub model so um, let's say uh, if let's say post class is a base class and we want to create a, a a more specific kind of a class let's let's call this maybe a a feature post all right 
So future posts can inherit can inherit um, the post class, and let's assume that um, future post has um, a property called author. Okay, author. And then we're gonna do our initialization again. Oops, we're not gonna do that. We need to put in the author string. So we do self the author equals to author. And then here we need to do the super dot init. So question: Why do we use super, and what does super mean? Uh, super refers to the super class. So uh, if we see here, the super class is actually the post class. All right, and when this this init method is actually this init method over here and therefore we will put in the title oops title and put in the description as well so let's uh, initialize a feature post so let's go feature post and we know that this is a class one equals to feature post class author let's let it be me. Description will be feature class title one and feature class description one. All right, guys. I hope you're not seeing stars with all these uh, suffixes, but we we have to put it in so that you know I can illustrate the differences between a class and a strat within the same project. Otherwise, Xcode is going to complain. All right. Yep. So. Um, Yep, so we have covered inheritance, but uh, if we are to do the same for strut, let's call this a feature post S. And let's, let's assume that we can inherit this. You will realize that Xcode is going to complain because struts don't support inheritance. So struts are used mainly if your models are really simple, you know, it's that's, um, that's something that you don't intend to to have uh, different uh, subtypes then use struts instead all right okay so the last thing I want to talk about which is the very important point which is what the interviewer wants to hear from your mouth which is classes are reference types so reference types means um, if you create multiple classes um, um, if you create a class that that um, if you create a class from another class they all point to the same memory address classes are reference types while struts are value types all right so let me illustrate what what I mean by reference types and and value types so let's talk about struts first all right um, okay so let um, Okay, so we already have a strut here already. So let okay, maybe I can do a var. Let post strut two equals to post strut one. Okay. So we are making a copy of this. And right now, if I do post strut two, okay, let's let's print this bad boy out. All right. Dot description. What do you think we will see? Okay, we're gonna get the description from post strut one, which is this one over here, right? Because we're making a copy of it. So now if we are to change post strut two dot description equals to strut description two. Alright, let's print out this again. It changes all right and if we are to look at post strut one dot description it's it should be it should be this one here all right so uh, I'll give you some time to look at it it should be fairly easy to understand all right so this is uh, so when I do something like that I'm actually making a copy so uh, it's as though like uh, you have a you have a file in your desktop and you just right click and duplicate it something like that right so so they point to two different memory addresses and if you make a change uh, of the copy it doesn't affect the first one all right that, that's the principle I'm trying to illustrate okay so we're done with strut now let's look at 
let's look at classes, all right? Because this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm just gonna follow the same concept here. Var post class two equals to post class one. All right, so let's print out um, post class two description. All right, so post, because it's a copy, it follows the post class one, which is this over here. Okay, so let's do this. So post class two dot description, I'm gonna change it to uh, class description two. All right, and now I'm gonna print post class two description. So yes, it's definitely gonna change, but guess what happens when I am to print post class one dot description do you think it's going to change let's find out <gasps> what sorcery is this why did post class one description changed well it's because classes are reference types <laughs> which means they are a copy they're, they're not a copy they, they are like a um like an alias pointing to the same memory address so this is something that you have to watch out for when you design your um your, your when you when you decide on a model the data structure for your app all right so let me just uh quickly show you the difference here again <clears throat> if you have yet to see it okay just create a divider here so everything here it's similar here uh, what I did with the strut and the class, it's all the same. And let's just run this so that you can see the difference. So it's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Right, so let, let, let me just uh, show you this again. So if, let's say I'm gonna do like post class three, okay, equals to post class two. And right now I'm gonna set the description to class description three all right so you want to guess what's going to happen to um, post class one dot description as well as post um, whoops print post class two dot description i want to make a guess let me just remove this all right so it's okay uh and uh just make it a little bit easier to see like that so that you know you can follow otherwise you know you're just gonna get buried by all these uh, <laughs> print statements all right so let's let's see what we have over here okay so what we did was post class 2 we create a um, we, 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 we create this uh, variable from post class one so um and then what we did was that we changed the description from for post class two and then what we did was that we create post class three and we take the content from post class two and we change the description and what happens to post class one and two let's find out Oh no, what just happened? Post class one and post class two's description is three. And I hope this kind of clarifies what I mean by reference types, where you can create like as many, uh, 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 so to speak, copies uh, of classes that reference each other. And when you make a change to, to something, you know, of any property, it's gonna affect everything that has the same uh, reference that's pointing to all right, I, I hope this, this helps. Um, yep, so during the interview, uh, the differences between the class and struts, the first thing that you want to say is inheritance. All right, this is important. Initialization, I don't think it's that important though. It's definitely one of the distinction. And point number three, which is reference types versus value types. Yep, so I think, um, yep, that's all. If you have any questions, please feel free to um, comment and uh, let's let's all learn together and uh, let's uh, help each other
And uh, by the way, this video is sponsored by TechiWares. TechiWare is an active apparel brand that delivers premium theme clothing and accessories for developers, coders, and programmers. Only using premium quality clothing for the designs or products are custom printed in the US and EU. So, code with style and check out TechiWares today. URLs and descriptions are in the links below. Alright guys, thanks again. Thanks for watching and I hope you benefited from a little from this um, this little um, tutorial. Alright, thanks guys. See you. Bye-bye.